Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I want to demonstrate a small project that's been under development by our studio called Flex. It's a Microsoft DirectX 3D model exporter for Autodesk's Maya product. I have here a 3D model that I prepared earlier. It has a UV map on it. It's skinned and has a simple skeletal hierarchy and a short animation. In order to get this model out of Maya and into a rendering engine, you go to File, Export All, and you give it a file name. In this case, we're saving over the top of an existing one, RoboRunner.x. The export options in this pane here are not yet connected to the exporter, so they don't affect the way that the file will be exported. But when they do, you'll be able to choose to save this model as a text file, as a binary file, you'll be able to choose whether the normals are exported, whether the texture coordinates are exported, default material properties, and also information that relates to the speed of playback for your animations. To export successfully, we click on Export All, and we do want to save over the top of it. After we click Yes, the time slider will behave erratically. The time slider behaves erratically because we start off at the root hierarchy of all of the joints and we radiate out from there and the time slider will begin at the start and go to the end for each joint taking small snapshots of the joint matrices one by one. This is a requirement of the DirectX format and if there is a better way of obtaining this information for the file at the time of compiling this video I'm not aware of, of it. Um, now we'll just export that into a rendering engine called Erlict. I've consistently used uh, used this for a while. It's open source. It's brilliant. If you haven't played with it before, I'd uh, give it my full recommendation. I'll just run uh, run our program. It starts off in a default state, and I'll just change to a state that features our 3D model. As you can see. The model that we exported from Autodesk Maya, UV mapped, animated, wonderful. Thanks for watching. Take care.